What's up, Spice Droppers? It's Charlie from Ferndale. Alright everyone, so it's a tradition of mine that when I get my first tomato in my garden, I always make a BLT with it. Usually I use mayo, but not today. Because I do also have some fresh basil here. We're gonna make some basil aioli. Let's get cooking! <laughs> So if anyone out there doesn't know what aioli is, it's basically garlic infused mayonnaise. And if you've never made it at home, it is so much better than store bought. Let's check out the mise en place. All right, first off, we are gonna use an immersion blender for this. If you don't have one, I would highly recommend getting one. But also if you don't, don't fret. You can make this with a whisk. It's just gonna take a little bit longer and the steps are gonna be a tiny bit different, but I'll describe those. For the sandwich, obviously we have some bacon here. And if you've seen any of my other videos with bacon, you know I like to cook it on a wire rack in the oven. 375 for about 20 minutes, and it's good to go. Now this served a dual purpose here because I took a French baguette, cut, cut it in half, cut a little bit off each end, made it sandwich size, whatever. But I also lifted the grate up and dunked it in that bacon grease instead of using butter on these. And this is beautiful. I also have some Boston lettuce, aka butter lettuce, and of course, my homegrown tomato. For the aioli, we're going to be using the yolk of two eggs. I also have two cloves of garlic, and I'll show you how to prep those. I got a nice handful of basil here, fresh from the garden, and we're just going to take the leaves off those stems. We're going to use about a tablespoon of lemon juice in there. I have one cup of olive oil here, extra virgin. I have a half teaspoon of white vinegar. I'm gonna throw in a half teaspoon of cayenne just to give it a little kick. And then we're gonna use some kosher salt. It needs to be kosher, you wanna, you wanna coarse salt on this. And then we're gonna throw some pepper in there as well. So not a lot of ingredients and it's a very easy process. First thing you wanna do with the garlic is smash them down and get those skins off. If you know anything about me, you do know that I hate garlic skins, but this fresh garlic is really what makes this dish. Now, I'm gonna mince that up a little bit and now we're going to add some kosher salt to it, which is really going to help with the next part of this process, which is to kind of smash it down with the side of the knife, also cutting at the same time, and we want to kind of make a garlic paste out of this. The salt really helps with that because it kind of tears into that garlic, but all I want to do is open up that garlic so a lot more flavor gets out of it. Now we can set this garlic aside for when it's needed. Okay, now I have my container for the immersion blender, which you want a container that is barely wide enough at the bottom to hold the blender on. This came with this, so it's perfect. You could also use a measuring cup, and if you don't have an immersion blender, you're just gonna put these egg yolks into a bowl. We're gonna take these two eggs, and we're going to separate the yolk from the rest of the egg. And uh, if you've ever seen me do this before, all you do is just go back and forth th from through the eggshells until it's just the yolk. And if you get a little white in there, it's fine. It's not gonna hurt anything. So we're gonna dump that in there, do that with the second egg, throw that yolk in there. Now we can take that garlic we minced, dump that in there. Gonna squeeze that lemon in there, make sure the seed, no seeds get in there. Again, you're looking for about a tablespoon of lemon juice. I have my white vinegar I'm throwing in, the cayenne. Put some pepper in there. This can all be adjusted to taste later. And again, this salt in here, just like mashing up the garlic, is gonna help with the emulsion process. So we wanna have that in there. And now we'll take our handful of basil here and give that a nice chop. Now I have my one cup of olive oil here, extra virgin again. Now if you were using a whisk instead of this immersion blender, you'd want to pour this olive oil in very slowly while you're whisking so that it doesn't break. Now we're just going to bring this immersion blender all the way to the bottom. You want it to be touching the bottom and then we're going to do little pulses for a little bit until it starts to emulsify down there. And you can see on this side, you can see that mayonnaise forming. So once you get a nice base there, you can start to move the blender up and down to kind of incorporate everything in here. And just like that, we have a beautiful, nice, thick, creamy mayonnaise. Now I'm gonna give that a little taste test to see if I need to add anything. Honestly, that's amazing. That's gonna be so good. So now I guess we can make the sandwich. All right, let's build it. We got our bread. I got the aioli. And look at that spatula in there, how it stands up to it. You know, that's what you're looking for. You want it thick, it's creamy, it's, you know, oh, it's perfect. You're looking for the texture of mayonnaise, obviously, but this is just so much better than store-bought mayonnaise. 
I'm going to spatula a little bit on there each side. And I'm glad I made extra because you can keep this for a few days and I'm definitely going to make another one of these tomorrow. Throw some bacon on the bottom here. This is going to be so good. Ooh, I didn't cut my tomato yet. You want nice thick slices here. You want them to be, you know, a quarter of an inch thick there. I'm going to throw two of these boys on there. A healthy amount of this lettuce. You could also put mozzarella on here, that'd be amazing, but BLTs are like one of the best. Why, why mess with perfection, you know? Push that down and look at that. Is that not a beautiful BLT? Let's try this. All right, Spice Droppers. I picked this tomato a few days ago, so I've been just waiting for so long for this sandwich. Let's dig in. It's so good. It's so much better with the with the basil aioli. I'm so glad I didn't just use mayonnaise. Let's just make some. It's so good. You can use any flavor you want. It doesn't have to be basil. You can do all sorts of stuff in there. Mm. Oh, First robber. Oh, we did it again, baby. Peace and love. I love you.